ever since we were kids, all the time in the yard, we'd always go out there and we'd be digging for treasure. And or for kids, we always like we'd find something. We'd always find bones, and they look like human bones, like thigh bones. They were like about that big around, like that long. You don't find bones like that big. <laughs> they were really strange. We'd always bring them in and be like, "What's this?" And they're like, "Are these human bones?" They'd be like, "No, go throw that in back." And <laughs> now that I think about it, it's like I should have kept that. I'm like, that's definitely not a dog or animal bone. That's something else. At the time the burials took place, which was over uh, several decades, the individual churches would have kept uh, records of the burials. And at the time when it was turned into a park, there was supposed to have been a plan made to um, actually locate all of the burials and count them. But certainly we know from the work that was carried out during the exhumations that there were many more here. So whether or not accurate records were kept historically, um, it's doubtful. And what happened to those records, whether they are complete or not, we do not know. But that's something that could still be looked at. Um, it would take a lot of time to look at all the different church records and count the number of burials that should have taken place here. One of the difficulties is that they don't necessarily specify which cemetery they were, were um, buried in. So we can only make assumptions as to whether they were in the upper burial ground or in one of the others um, that was still in operation at the time. It was in fact in 1894 when the, um, when the remains, some of the remains were dug up uh, and moved to Cataraqui or uh, St Mary's Cemetery. It did in fact leave an estimated 9,000 uh, still in this area. When people were buried in, in 19th century cemeteries, um, certainly space was at a premium. Um, in Kingston, that, that was potentially a problem because we know here we have very shallow soils. And so uh, certainly throughout um, the historical record in, in other places, we know that uh, bodies were stacked in cemeteries. Um, when you're dealing with limited space, that, that is always an issue. And uh, we are, are presuming, certainly from the 1893 exhumations, we have information um, from those records that suggest there was stacking going on in this cemetery. And certainly it would seem like it, it would be the type of situation where that might have occurred. Oh, my cat, he'll growl all the time at this nothing. It's weird. It's like, he'll jump up in the window, or he'll go to my back door. That's what really creeps me out. I'm just like, okay. Look out in the air, turn the lights on. There's nothing there. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> but I've noticed dogs, too. Like, my aunt's dog, I've noticed them bark at just nothing, and dogs go off at nothing in the park, and it's just kind of weird. I just think it's... The energy follows me sometimes, though, because just weird things occur around me, and that energy of that park, living around it, I think kind of I've almost the the spirits know that I've always been there, so they kind of <laughs> have a friendship. I think with me, maybe I don't know. It was decided to hold an investigation at the park. The crew gathered their gear and prepared for the night ahead. They were asked what they hoped to see and how they felt about being at Skeleton Park after sunset. I hope to see ghosts. I'm not a believer myself, but I'm open to new ideas. I'm not scared. <laughs> I will be when I go home though, because I live alone. There's usually explanations for uh, any uh, any unusual stuff, sound, pictures. Actually, everything is uh, everything is subjective. I think. I've had my experiences in the past, so I know there's a possibility of something out there. Karen, a spiritual medium, had no prior knowledge of the history of the location. She was invited to attend the investigation in hopes she might connect with the spirits who call Skeleton Park home. It's like there's some um, confusion under the ground. Um, nothing is uh, orderly. 
and I just keep seeing a jumble of um, people. Like I keep seeing, you know, arms and legs and everything all just as if they were thrown in. I can get glimpses. It's almost as if you were trying to capture something with a train going by, trying to capture the faces as they're going by, you know. The people involved, there aren't many that actually got to move on in the afterlife. And so it, they're still earthbound? Yeah, and it's like a, a cesspool of despair and confusion, and they, it's like a self-made prison. It's almost like somebody just covered them up quickly just to, you know, keep the animals away or something. There wasn't much uh, time or maybe the manpower for proper burials, you know, which is really sad. The park is in such close proximity to those houses, if you look right behind you. Yes. Um, do you think that the houses are affected at all? Do you think that they're yes. getting any sense of what's in the park? Well, they may not be consciously aware of it, but those kind of vibes affect everything in a close proximity. I mean, the, the animals will feel it in the park. The trees will feel it. Um, certainly the people who live in this area, and certainly if there were, you know, remains found when they had built the house, it would affect the people in it. It makes you want to go door to door and ask them how their lives are, you know. <laughs> but it probably wouldn't show much, you know, just be the same as anywhere else. But no, you you would feel it. I mean, I can I can feel it. Just it's almost like a layer of paint on the houses. It's a sadness. It's a weighing down. It's not so much scary and negative as it is just so sad. Now I had a, a young lady who is actually a local resident on the street and we spoke with uh, Melinda and she was stating that uh, her family home w was originally an old hotel which showed on the Upper Canada map. Now it's burnt down. It was at the top of York and Ordnance Streets and apparently they had a lot of occurrences mm. in that house and subsequently her family actually lives all along the street. They have a row of houses um, and they still find that there are occurrences happening. Uh, could you explain? It's going to take a long time before this park is just a park. So do you think it affects the people that are living in there? Are they feeling sadness? Do you, do you think that they're getting that sense? I think that people who are sensitive, prone, will would feel it. There are some people that could have a ghost right beside them and they'd be totally unaware of it. So it's those people that are sensitive. So you have people who are emotionally frail or sick, that kind of thing. It could make you more prone, you know, to depression. It's like a dumping ground for people who died. This was probably the grave pit, not the graveyard. But so they probably just threw them in with the rest of them. Yeah, I get, uh, it gets less and less as you leave the park. Yes, you see, there's, there's these impressions here. You see where it sinks down? That's what happens when somebody's buried improperly. See the impressions? Like, that's the kind of thing. And there's one down there, and this is just being dramatic, and that has nothing to do with the burial thing, but it's that, that feeling. I feel like there's a lot right here. And as soon as, I, like, as soon as I arrived at this park, I was pulled right here. Really? Yeah. And as soon as I got here, it was almost the first time I actually felt the energy. It, was, it almost just made my knees buckle. Hmm. Yeah. I want to go over closer to where I felt this, uh, if I can, just for a moment, sure, okay? Yeah, a depression is um, when the flesh has left and um, there's only bones there, so there's less space required for the body. Oh. So it would uh, um, go down, like sometimes in old graveyards, when the, when, uh, the box has deteriorated, it might have been a wooden box or something, and, and the flesh is gone, then all you've got are the bones, so the earth just tends to settle. Wow. Yeah.